Hey guys, I'm going to go over how to use Adobe Spark. I'm actually going to be using the post project, uh, but there's all sorts of different wonderful things that you can use with Adobe Spark. Uh, it's a free program. I really love how uh, they have video, they have websites, and they have posts. And so super simple, very easy. They have all sorts of things that you can create. So to create a new project, you first want to log in and you log in with your Adobe ID, which was whatever you had set up a couple months ago and a password. And thankfully, since it's education, it's a free um, way for you to be able to use it. So real quick to make it, I'm on the Spark projects and I'm going to go to plus on the top middle. And since I'm going to do a power word, I'm thinking of doing a, a square so that way I can do it on Instagram or wherever I want to do it. And so they have all sorts of cool ways of you can create a graphic video or web page again, or you can use some of their templates and then just kind of change them around to get to what you want. And it's a lot of futz in a little bit, but I think it's pretty awesome that they have that. So, um, I think what I'll do is I'll stand out in social and I'll do a graphic Instagram post. So right now I'm seeing that it has a thing where I can change. It says combine images in a grid. If I want to do that, I can do that. So I can switch this to this kind of thing, or I can make it on top, or I can do it to the side, whatever I want, or I can just kind of keep it the way it is. Um, I can then, I just double click and I change this to what my power word will be, which is create and then done. So easy peasy. I can then also take that and kind of grab it, make it bigger if I want to. I can futz around with it to make it on the top, on the side. They also have all sorts of cool stuff that you can use to say, hey, this is the center. Um, I have this smack dab in the center, or if I want to have it up here, I can, and the little purple line shows me where it's going, or I can, you know, I can kind of put it wherever it wants, but of course Adobe is like, hey, here's the center here, and the other line will show me where it's in completely the center. And again, if I want to make it a little bit bigger, I can kind of put around with that. From there, I can also change it to left align, center align, right align, just like you would see with any other step. I can change the font to all these different kind of cool funky fonts, but quite frankly I like the way it looked to begin with. Uh, let's see, what did I have it before? Okay, I can only create just like that. But I'm also going to have to see what it looks like once I have a photograph in there. Uh, I can then click on here and I can add an image. So I want to add a photograph. So I'm going to upload a photograph of mine. I have this Japanese garden picture that I really like, and I'm going to see how it looks on it. It may be a big wash. It might be like, oh, that looks horrible. And so you just kind of have to change it. Uh, since it's a pretty large photo, it might take a minute for it to come up. Oh, here we go. Oh, that looks kind of cool. And I'm just going to make it so there is no grid. How do I do it? I don't want a grid. How do I get rid of a grid? Let's go with the layout. I don't want a grid. Well, you might have to play around with it because I don't want that grid. I think that looks kind of horrible. But anyway, that is the basic logistics of it. I'm going to have to change it. I kind of like how that looks. I can also take this part off and, and I can also remove the Adobe Spark logo if I want to, but it looks pretty cool. I, like I said, I, I want to delete. Oh, there we go. Delete section. Oh, there we go. That's how you do it. So again, it's a lot of just kind of playing with it, but it's super easy. And I like how incredibly simple it is 
I'm going to go back to the design. I'm going to change the variation. Oh, that looks kind of cool. I'm going to see what sort of stuff I can do. And then the very cool thing is that I can just save it. And then I put it on my Instagram and it looks so cool. Wow, that looks actually really hot. Kind of digging that. Let me see if I can go to this. Oh, and I can also move around my photograph. See, I kind of kind of futz around and play around with it, but I think personally it looks pretty fantastic. So when I'm happy with it and I say, hey, that looks fantastic, I can then go download and I save my post and it'll be down here. Let's see if it goes download. Let me see if it, oh, it's right there. And it's right on my computer. You just download it and look at how gorgeous it looks. I'm so excited. And that took me all of not even five minutes. So enjoy, play around with Spark, see what you think and go from there. Cheers. Bye.